Arunjirana Zoological Park is one of the largest zoo in Southeast Asia. It houses more than 2,500 wild animals. Let's go and visualize the beauty of Arunjirana Zoological Park. Sorry for the technical problem that we had. So today is a day of international biological diversity. This year, International Day of Biological Diversity is being celebrated on the theme, Our Solution or in Nature, which emphasizes the hope and solidarity and importance of working togetherness to build a stable, sustainable future with along with the nature. To commemorate this International Day of Biological Diversity, today, Aranjana Zoological Park Zoo School has organized a creative writing contest. What you have to do is, you have to write, you, have, you can put your thoughts in form of writing on the topic, ways to conserve ecosystem with limited to 200 words, participants, can make a note of it and you can, uh, after uh, writing, you can please scan that page and send it to aazpzooschool at gmail.com. And uh, let's go into today's session. We have a few new, few new joiners who's taking part in today's session. So for you, if you have missed any of your previous sessions, If you have missed any of your previous session, it is.
பாருங்கள் அண்ணா ஜுவலாஜிக்கல் பார்க் வண்டலூர் வெல்கம் பேக் I will repeat with the instructions. Participants who have missed the previous session, they can view the recorded version of the series in our Aranjirana Zoological Park YouTube channel as well as in your assignment page. Those who have not subscribed for Aranjirana Zoological Park YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe for the future update from the zoos. So uh, for the new joiners of the day, I would like to repeat the instructions. Once the session is started, all the participants will be in default mute option. If you have any queries related to the session that is being taken today, please, use, uh, please make use of the question and answer tab that you see below your screen and you can type your questions there. Our panelists will be answering to your questions. And uh, if you are uh, like at end of the session, few minutes will be allowed for the participants to interact with the presenter. At that time, please make use of the rise hand option. Few participants will be selected in a random basis and they will get a chance to talk with the presenter. So let's go. <laughs> and avian medicine. He has got vast experience in human wildlife conflict mitigation and wildlife translocation. He has done various research on elephants and continues to work with elephants for more than seven years. Neonatal care of mammals and birds is one of his field of his expertise. He has been trained various graduate and postgraduate students forest officers, field veterinarians, and veterinary faculties of different universities regarding wildlife conservation, wildlife health management, and conflict mitigation. He is one of the core mentor of Zoo Ambassador Program from its initiation. He has conducted and organized various zoo education and outreach program. Let's start the African adventure part one session with Dr. Pa Kalingan. Thank you, Madam. Um, very good evening to all the participants. I hope you are all uh, saying, staying safe at home. Let's uh, go and travel to the African continent and see what adventure we can expect there. As we all know, Africa is the uh, second largest continent in the world, which is uh, hosting lots of uh, flora and, uh, and uh, faunal species. And we all know the human life has started from the African continent. Let's begin with the prehistoric uh, story of the continent. So when the, in the Mesozoic era, that is like almost uh, 200 million years back, that is also called as uh, age of reptiles, wherein the reptiles were uh, forming, there was two bigger supercontinents. One is uh, Gondwana supercontinent and uh, Laurasia supercontinent. So the present day Africa, um, present day uh, Latin America, that is South America, and India, Madagascar, all this were part of uh, Gondwana supercontinent. So, when the tectonic plate shifted, so the present day Africa has uh, formed with Madagascar as a uh, separate island with it. We all know there are five uh, physiogeographic uh, conditions in India like our physiological uh, paths were divided into the Himalayas, the greater plains, the peninsular plateau, the coastal plains and the islands. Africa is uh, divided into eight parts. Generally, we all think Africa is a big uh, Sahara desert, a savanna and uh, thick
we are facing a big um, technical glitch uh, sorry for the inconvenience so as i said uh, africa has got eight ஆ ரெஸ்டர்ஸ் வந்து வண்டி 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 ஓட்டுது தி கிரேட் லேக்ஸ் சதர்ன் ஆப்பிரிக்கா சோ திஸ் ஆர் தி மெயின் எயிட் ஜோ ஃபிசியோ ஜியோகிராஃபிக் ரீஜன்ஸ் இன் ஆப்பிரிக்கா we are troubleshooting our uh, technical problem sorry for the inconvenience uh, participants so we are back so i last stated like there are uh, eight physio geographic uh, regions in africa from the north to south it's like from uh, sahara for desert then the sahel the sahel is the semi arid region which connects the desert and the southern uh, forest then there is the ethiopian islands the top the top most like the highest peaks are present in ethiopian islands then comes the savanna the grassland the swahili coast that is the coast ranges from in the indian uh, ocean border the rainforest 
which is uh, predominantly seen in the Central African part and the uh, Great Lakes. There are almost eight uh, Great Lakes. Lake Victoria is the largest uh, lake in Africa. And the uh, last southernmost part is the African, uh, Southern African part. The most biggest uh, mega viewers and the uh, fascinating uh, big cats are found, mostly found in the Southern African region. Let's go into a uh, small documentary about the African wildlife. So this uh, documentary like tells shows you about like uh, the African uh, richness of the African wildlife. So Africa has got a uh, desert, as we all know, the Sahara Desert, which is the biggest hot desert in the world. And the Sahel, which is the semi-arid part. And if you see the placement of equator, equator almost divides the continent into two halves. So the thing is, equator, wherever in the world, the equator uh, passes through, the region will be like uh, very fertile. So in case of South America, you can see the Amazon forest, the Amazon rainforest, which is uh, divided by the equator. In case of Africa, the main African rainforest is seen in the Central African region, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the earlier named the Zaire, the other countries uh, surrounding, it, surrounding it. And in case of Asia, you can see Indonesian uh, forest. So the salt forests are uh, very uh, rich in diversity of uh, flora and fauna because presence of the, like these forests are present in the equatorial region. So Africa's uh, biggest uh, diversity and uh, richness of the forest is seen in uh, Central African part, that is the rainforest. And you can see in this uh, video the Naha viewers like the giraffes, elephants, and the other uh, bovids, the wildebeest, all these animals are like wildebeest or uh, having a great migration. They migrate almost 13 countries in Africa. You can see the cheetah, the fastest running uh, animal in the world. So that's how it goes. And African continent has got one more uh, important uh, rich wildlife rich area that is the Madagascar Island, which is the tail kind of the tail part of the Africa. And coming on to the next part, the river systems of Africa. So mainly Africa has got uh, three river systems. One is the Nile, that is the longest uh, river in the world. You all know that. So the Nile has got two parts. One is the White Nile and the Blue Nile. So White Nile arises from the um, Victoria, Lake Victoria, and uh, the Blue Nile arises from the Ethiopian Islands. And next important uh, river is the Congo River. And another biggest is the river Niger. So these are the three main river uh, basins which gives, which access the water holes and other important factors in uh, African wildlife. Apart from this, if we see the African savanna, which starts from the Serengeti in Kenya till the Norum, uh, from Kenya till the um, Tanzania. Serengeti. From uh, in Kenya, it's uh, Marai Masai, and uh, from its start now, north, northern wall of the uh, savanna is the Marai Masai, and the uh, southern border will be like the Serengeti forest. So African wildlife is very rich. We all know that, and there are lots of uh, rare species of birds and animals found in Africa. And there one more important. Uh, place in Africa is the Gorongoro Crater. So Gorongoro Crater is like one of oldest, uh, almost 6 million years back, there was a volcano which got erupted and formed, formed a crater. And this is one of the important uh, wildlife places to visit in Africa is the Gorongoro Crater. You can see the plains here. You can see the rivers, you can see the seas and oceans 
what they have and as i said earlier there is a great migratory pattern in uh, african wildlife so coming on to next part as a zoo ambassador like you will be uh, you should be knowing somewhat uh, extra points like extra uh, things than the normal students so for this i have included a few pictures here these are few very rare wildlife species is found in uh, africa on the top left you can see the gerunak it's a bovid bovids are the animals which are the family bovidae the our cattle antelopes all this comes under the family bovidae so this is uh, the top left is the gerunak you can see it's a antelope the subfamily antelopine you can see it has got a very long neck this is a evolutionary thing you can which happened in case of uh, african wildlife say in case of giraffe you can see a very long neck so for browsing purposes this uh, species also developed a very long neck slender and long neck and the next animal the top right is the hartebeest beast you all would have known about the wild beast this uh, like millions of wild beast will be like migrating that's the grand migration so this is the hartebeest beast it's another uh, bovid and the bottom left you can see this is a kudu african kudu it is also an antelope and the right side you can see top uh, bottom right you can see uh, okapi this is another uh, rare animal which is sighted only in uh, africa you can see it has got a uh, uh, kind of long neck but it has got stripes like africa uh, zebras so it's like a giraffe face and a zebra slim this is okapi so these are the few species of uh, animals which are only found in endemic to african continent and if, in case of uh, mammals you, you can see there are almost uh, 1100 species of uh, mammals found in africa in case of birds there are almost 2600 species of uh, birds found in africa and most of them are endemic to african continent for example you can say there is a species of penguin which is found in africa most of you will be like thinking penguins are mostly seen in antarctica but there is only one species of penguin or african penguin or cape penguin which is seen in the southern part of uh, african coast so in case of uh, insects there are almost 1 lakh insects present uh, present in africa and in case of congo uh, republic of uh, democratic republic of congo the congo country almost 2400 species of butterflies are seen there out of which almost 200 species are endemic only to congo and there are uh, africa has got very rich uh, inland water system i said like there are three rivers so they have got almost uh, 3000 species of uh, freshwater fishes and uh, 2000 species of marine fishes found in africa and there are very uh, interesting things like there are three uh, endemic orders like the orders are the group of animal which in which the families are found in taxonomy so there are three orders animals belong to that of hardwork the spineless like uh, horn spine anteater the golden moles and the elephant shoes so you can see the africa's wildlife richness like you can see very small tiny uh, elephant shoe to a bigger uh, african bush elephant and in case of carnivores there are almost 60 species of carnivores found in africa like um, from the bigger uh, social animal lions till smaller uh, otters you can uh, see in africa and as i said in uh, ungulates these are the few ungulate species which is found apart from that you can see common uh, african cape buffalo uh, like two days back i have seen a video dr moon would have shown me that i lion is uh, a male lion which is hunting african uh, cape buffalo usually a single animal hunting uh, african uh, african cape buffalo is very difficult either a single male lion can do or a group of uh, uh, pride of females can do always like african cape buffalo is they don't have any uh, predators and apart from this there are uh, jurunek this another uh, important uh, antelope species there are gazelles um ln so these are a few other ungulates found in africa and in case of other uh, 
Angulates, apart from Bovich, there are Virabs, Hippos, Vartogs, those kind of uh, species. And coming to Africa's uh, another important thing about the floral part, I specifically put this uh, tree picture here. This is one of the very important uh, tree species found in Africa. This is uh, the Bobo tree. So this is a very tall tree and it has got very uh, with the width of the tree is very huge. The record are high, most like the record is almost uh, the diameter of the thickness of the trunk is almost uh, 50 feet. So, this much big tree, what the use is like this tree helps during broad season for the African people, the tribal people. The tree trunk can store almost uh, 1 lakh liters of water. So, like during broad seasons, the tribals they'll uh, make a hole in the tree trunk and they can uh, replace the water with this. So, this is one important tree species which is uh, found in Africa. But now it has got spread to other continents also, even in Asia, in the South American continent, they have uh, spread this tree. And coming on to the next part, I have uh, going to I'm going to show the first part of African uh, adventure as the primates found in Africa. There are almost uh, 64 species of uh, primates found in Africa. In that, four great apes are found in Africa. So, the great ape, there are only five species. Apart from this, Warangaran is one, one more uh, great ape. In that four species, you can find only in Africa. You can see this one, this uh, middle left is uh, Bonobo. This is not a chimpanzee, but this classified under the chimpanzee's uh, genus and the uh, down one is chimpanzee this is pan uh, this both come under genus pan so this is pan uh, pagoratus and top you can see this is uh, western lowland gorilla and this is the rare uh, mountain gorilla from the silver back so these are the main four uh, great apes found in africa apart from the great apes there are other species of uh, Monkeys found in Africa. The species like colobuses, baboons, galadas. This is the galada. This is the galada monkey. You can see, like they'll say, this is a bleeding heart monkey. You can see a red mark on the chest. So, this is the galada. This is the tapa patas monkey. And uh, this is a black crested uh, magabe. This is a vervet. And this is a colobus monkey. And this is the, one of the very uh, most aggressive uh, monkey species, the mandrel. In this uh, genus mandrel, there are two, actually before they were classified as uh, baboon only, but now they are uh, formed as a different uh, family. So there are two species in this, mandrel and uh, drill. So these are the two species. And this is the baboon. So these are the few species of uh, primates found in Africa. And in total, there are almost uh, 64 species of primates found in Africa. In that, very few uh, species are highly endemic to Madagascar. Nowhere else in the world you can see them. Say for example, a species of lemurs, the ringtail lemur, the eye eye. So these are bush babies. This kind of uh, primates you can see uh, only in Madagascar. And, uh, and uh, this mandrels, baboons, they are uh, highly endemic to the African mainland. So coming on to our part, the Harigarana Zoological Park's uh, primate collection. So we have, uh, our zoo is like almost a thematic zoo. We have a uh, separate primate section, bird section, aviary section, carnivores, herbivores like that. So if you enter the zoo, like we have the main, uh, first we start with the primate section, uh, section. And in that you can see we start with the chimpanzee, which is an African animal. So this is our uh, beautiful uh, chimpanzee enclosure. You can see, uh, as uh, Dr. Manimari said before, like you can see a wet mode around the enclosure. So this is the aerial view. We'll just fly down and uh, see what, what are the present in the enclosure. So we have provided lots of enrichments. So we all load out all our enrichment in the earlier classes by our, uh, men by our mentors. So you can see ropes tied up to the poles. You can see artificial shed. You can see three covers present in the enclosure. 
So these are the platforms where we'll place lots of treats for the animal. So this is, uh, and this poles you can animals will be using them. We'll be providing, we'll dig up and we'll provide uh, termites. We'll provide uh, mealworms to them. So this is the main uh, chimpanzee enclosure. And again, like we'll fly up and we'll enter the another African species primate. This is the savanna baboon enclosure. You can see the baboon moving around. So we'll uh, go and have a short peep to the enclosure. You can see, yeah, it's moving. So baboons are one of the most aggressive and they are the larger monkey species, apart from the great apes. So if we uh, separate the primates as apes and non-apes, so baboons are the biggest uh, monkey species apart from apes. So you can see our beautiful uh, baboon enclosure here. So let's uh, see in proper about our two African species, the chimpanzee and the baboon, the, the slides here after. So chimpanzee, as I said before, the scientific name is Pan Pagoratus. So it is a mammal, so class mammalia. And the group of uh, chimpanzees is called community, not the troop. So for the great ape, it's the community. For the apes, not non-apes, it's the troop. So a group of uh, baboon is called as troop and a group of uh, chimpanzees is a community. And uh, you can see the size of uh, size comparison of the chimpanzee and human here. So chimpanzees will tall, stand tall almost for 5.5 feet, but they are quadrupeds, not like uh, like us, bipeds. We walk in uh, two legs. So for short distances, they'll walk in two legs. Otherwise, they are quadrupeds. They'll walk using their uh, four legs. And they'll weigh almost uh, 70 to 130 pounds. That is almost uh, 60, like uh, 40 to 80 kgs. So being female being the less weight and male being the more weight. And the average uh, lifespan of uh, chimpanzee in wild is almost 45. It will go almost 60 years also in captivity. So the average uh, lifespan is almost 40 to 60 years in range. And in case of um, age of uh, puberty, that is the sexual uh, maturity, they'll sexually mature almost like uh, 10 to 15 years of age, both male and female. And they are omnivorous in nature. So when, whenever there is scarcity of food, they'll uh, go for uh, carnivorous uh, like uh, feeding also, the meat feeding. And they'll eat lots of insects. So that's why also like we have mentioned, it, mentioned them as the omnivore. So let's go and have a look at our uh, chimpanzee enclosure and meet our two beautiful uh, chimpanzees. So as I said earlier, we are providing lots of enrichment. This shower is a kind of enrichment, which is also a summer management for the animal. So chimpanzee, which is coming from a tropical rainforest, there will be high humidity in that uh, natural habitat, and temperature will be almost uh, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, but in Chennai, you can see the coastal weather. We have a, a hot, humid condition. So like we'll our moat and this kind of showers will provide the uh, lesson uh, like they'll decrease the temperature. And this is our female Gauri. You can see how happily she is sleeping in the day with the coolness of the shower. You can see the water splashing on her face. She's enjoying it and she's uh, happily lying down. Uh, we got her from uh, Singapore Zoo as part of animal exchange program. And uh, now you can meet our uh, beautiful uh, Energetic male is Gombe. Uh, I should uh, tell about Gombe also. Gombe is a uh, uh, sanctuary, uh, chimpanzee uh, national park. It's kind of chimpanzee island, you can say, wherein the famous uh, biologist Jane Goodall has wrote a lot about uh, chimpanzees. So they have uh, kept the Gombe uh, sanctuary's name for uh, for him. It's very energetic and it's very active. It's a uh, very powerful uh, animal. And in case of chimpanzees, we can say like um, our uh, DNA and uh, apes, great apes, DNA are almost same. We all come under, we all are grouped in the same family, Hominidae, humans and uh, chimpanzees. 
and the other apps also. So we share almost uh, more than ninety percent of our uh, uh, DNA, ninety almost ninety nine percent of our DNA are exact to the chimpanzees. So apart from human chimpanzees in the animal kingdom, chimpanzees are the like most uh, intelligent animal, and we can say. Uh, the tool handling capacity of chimpanzee is like very high. You can see like how he nicely is holding his hammer. So we have provided lots of enrichments here. You can see. So they'll use the hammer. They'll use the springs. They'll use the ropes, and they can easily like tie something. They can unwind the things. Um, they can use uh, like uh, they can take a stone and break stuffs. So like next to humans. Or except humans, um, chimpanzees are very uh, nice and two handed, and they can uh, learn la lots of languages, like sign languages. There is something called as American Sign Languages. That is, there was, there is one uh, female uh, chimpanzee in US who just learned almost 230, 230 sign languages, which are which are communicated with us. So you have seen lots of movies about uh, them also. So they are highly intelligent animal. So we give them lots of uh, enrichments because, like, to avoid their boredom. And as earlier uh, you have seen in your uh, langur uh, session and the lion tail macaque session and all, like, we have a proper uh, feeding schedule for them. So they are very uh, uh, varied and uh, complex uh, feeding uh, behavior in our zoos, as like in the wild. So here you can see like our keeper is like uh, giving some treats for them. So whenever like the animals are answering our call or they are positively getting reinforced, see he's having some dates or something. So he's collecting it and he's going, he's eating that. And they'll share their meal also. The female, the Gauri and the Gombe, they'll share their meal. They live very happily. See how she's interacting with the male, just uh, getting some treat. So this is the positive reinforcement we uh, wrote also. So he's enjoying the shower also. So this is our uh, chimpanzee enclosure. And as I said, there's uh, good tool handling capacity. You can see, like we are providing them uh, tender coconuts, uh, summer enrichment and summer management. You can see how nicely they uh, hooked up the top layer and uh, like she's making hole in that uh, tender coconut and she'll be like breaking it fully because they know like if they break it now the tender coconut water will be like get wasted. So she had made a hole, she's drinking it. After drinking, she uh, broke that shell and she had a tender coconut. And coming on to the next uh, species, baboon. So in case of baboons, uh, there are uh, most uh, Five species present. So in um, our zoo, we have a savanna baboon. Like savanna baboon is a group of baboons. Like there are four species of uh, savanna baboons: the um, chakma, olive, um, yellow, and uh, guinea uh, savanna baboon. So these are the four species of uh, savanna baboons. Apart from this, we have one more baboon that is hamarre baboon, the biggest among the baboons. And which is seen in the northeastern and uh, the, um, in the Gulf region of the Asia. So this is the Hamarai baboon. So we have got olive uh, baboon here. So they should belong to the uh, genus Papio. So again, like they class uh, Mammalia. They also are omnivore. As I said before, they are one of the biggest uh, monkey species. <coughs> And uh, one more important thing is like they also they have got a tail, but the thing is like uh, like other uh, species of monkeys, their tail is not prehensile and they don't use the tail for uh, hanging from the tree and all. So mostly baboons are kind of uh, terrestrial species animal species of animal. They don't uh, uh, like most. They mostly live in the land. They uh, share the territory with uh, other uh, species of primates also. And other uh, big cats, um, other ungulates also. So the group name is the troop. So average lifespan is around uh, 30 years. The so weight will be like almost 40 kg. It's very big for a monkey. 
and you can see this is the average size uh, comparison between the human and the bobo. And you can see our uh, baboon species here is coming out of its den with the olive uh, baboon. You can see the thick coat of fur. So they are uh, being hunted for their coat also. Like in chimpanzees also, they have uh, chimpanzees and gorillas. Mainly chimpanzees, they also got, they are getting hunted for their uh, meat, their fur by the poachers. So main threat for their uh, conservation status is uh, poaching. And another thing is like they are uh, losing their habitat, habitat loss and deforestation. So chimpanzees, they end up with lots of human conflicts in Africa. Baboons, they have got very vast uh, uh, habitat, that's savanna, that's very huge. So the, scale, the human uh, population in, the, in those places is very scarce and uh, conflict is somewhat less. But nowadays they are also becoming a uh, urban wildlife and like they are uh, going and stealing nearby the human uh, habitations. So this is another video of uh, our playful baboon. You can see the tail. It's, they have got quite a uh, long tail, but it's not uh, used for uh, climbing or as a prehensile organ. So they are mostly terrestrial animal. You can see how it nicely was walking. They are, they are also quadrupeds. All the primates are uh, quadruped animals. You can see him, how uh, And another important thing is like they have got very uh, sharp, um, long canine teeth. Like mostly, most of the in case of in case of comparing to the other primate species, their uh, canine is very huge. Like they can uh, bite. As I said before, like bandrels are uh, very aggressive animal. Even baboons end up uh, very aggressive. Uh, they'll uh, show aggressive behaviors too. So this is our baboon enclosure. And uh, thank you. And we'll continue tomorrow with a uh, few more species of our African uh, adventure. We have got uh, some uh, Mahabibos, we have got uh, Dequits, we have got some reptiles, birds also. So we'll see all those species tomorrow in our African adventure part two. Thank you today. Thank you, doctor, for the informative session. Uh, doctor, now uh, we will go for the question and answer part. Uh, we will discuss few questions that we got through the chat. Nandita Kannan has put forth a question. What is the difference between a chimpanzee and a gorilla? Okay. So, chimpanzees and gorillas, they look entirely different. Wait till again. Uh, share my presentation and explain that. So you can uh, see the main differences between them. They have got, um, the chimpanzees have got somewhat uh, bigger ears and gorillas mainly, they have a hump on their head and uh, both of the species, their forelimb is like longer than their handlum. And uh, the fur of chimpanzees, chimpanzees have got very good fur that uh, the gorillas are good fur than the chimpanzees. And you can see the difference between the face. The facial uh, morphology is like entirely different between a chimpanzee and uh, gorilla. But the difference between chimpanzees and bonobos are very difficult to identify, but you can easily identify. Like they'll be having a pot belly structure in case of gorillas. Chimpanzees don't have that uh, pot belly structure. They have a small uh, dip in the back that they stand like quadruped. So this is like famous portion of uh, chimpanzees. I think this. Oh, 
thank you doctor and doctor we have a question repeatedly asked like oh, students want to know what is the name of the tree that is shown in this presentation okay that is a uh, babo tree it's b a o b a b babo tree okay. i'll repeat again it's babo b a o b a b babo thank you doctor and uh, manoj mahadevan has put a common question like um, can we adapt any two animals from arinjana zoological park who has asked this question manoj mahadevan okay uh, yes manoj like this is very uh, nice to hear from uh, master yes you can adapt like as many as animal you can and you wish there's no restriction is in uh, like number of species or number of animal you can adapt one animal you can adapt hundred animals that's your wish and uh, like we are this very like this is one of the success of this zoo master program where people are uh, getting involved in this kind of activities thank you manoj thank you sir and samyukta has put a question what is primates okay primates are the group of animals like we say monkeys right so monkeys are called as primates and uh, even humans come under this uh, part as primates and monkeys are non human primates and they are human primates so these are the this is the like what is that is a mini primate thank you doctor and another common question do madagascar have penguins uh madagascar i think the southern part of madagascar and southern i think only in southern part of the mainland has got the penguins thank you doctor so okay, now we uh, aradhana says how can a penguin live in a hot place that's very nice question uh, you can see like uh, the whole of africa is not very hot so the northern part the saharan part is like very hot but the penguins are found on the southernmost of the cape so the cape of good hope no the southern part of the africa so that is african uh, penguins are found in the southern tip and it's not very hot region so it's almost like uh, uh, not as antarctic but it's not very hot also our summer and winter are so different because we are in the northern hemisphere but this part is like very down part of the southern hemisphere so it's not very hot thank you doctor uh, uh, doctor now uh, we can go for the interactive session participants yeah. can make use of the rise hand option so few members will be selected and uh, they will get a chance to interact with the presenter Yes, Malik Arjun. If do ba do what what amount of weight do baboons and chimpanzees eat per day? What amount of weight you are asking? Okay, the quantity of food they are eating. Yes. That's almost uh, a kg to two kgs. of different type of fruits they in our captivity you see you know, we give them uh, apples bananas pineapple watermelon we give them uh, porridge we give them uh, egg out uh, there uh, we give them even pulses because that's a good source of protein so this is a, like mixed uh, diet we give and it's very uh, complex and it's a complete diet for them okay sir and i have another question sir Yes, do their fathers know, know their babies fathers know their babies okay uh, in case of uh, primates if you see they have a very complex social structure they are very social animal and uh, each community of uh, chimpanzee will be led, led by a male uh, alpha alpha chimpanzee and there will be a coalitions also like other uh, sub subdominant uh, males also but okay, also think they are uh, emotions they know their emotions okay sir thank you sir welcome sir vignesh yes sir i think we can go for uh, sagana gopinathan
Vignesh, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, Vignesh, please ask. Uh, you said uh, four types of baboons are kept together in a single enclosure and they are also aggressive. Won't they fight among themselves? No, I didn't say like they are kept in a single our enclosure. We have all of uh, type of savanna baboon. I said there are total four species of savanna baboons. Like they are commonly they are said as savanna baboon. But there are uh, like four uh, types. The chakma, the olive, uh, the yellow, the guinea. So these are the types of savanna baboons in total in uh, the world. That is, they are found in Africa. What we have here is an olive savanna baboon. Okay. Sir, I have another question, sir. Yes, please ask. Sir, are the hippopotamus spread throughout Africa or are they present only in a particular part? Uh, Africa, like you see hippopotamus are like aquatic uh, kind of animal. So their name is like Nile hippopotamus. They are mostly found in the river Nile. <clears throat> So, on the coast of on the river banks of Nile, they are present in the many countries of Africa. Thank we'll you, sir. We'll see about hippopotamus now tomorrow, so we'll uh, discuss there. Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome. Aishwarya? Yes, Aishwarya, please ask. We'll go for next uh, participant. Barani Kumar. Lavanya Sindhu Kumar. I think we can go for our next uh, participant. Hello, sir. Yes, Srivan. So, uh, what are the natural predators of the Okapi? Natural predators for the Okapi? Okay. Okapis are found in uh, the rainforest region, like the adjacent part of like the parts joining the rainforest and uh, the savanna. There you can see uh, leopards are there. The ones of Okapis can be uh, hunted by the leopards. And they're very uh, shy, very rare animals to be cited. They're almost like uh, one to the brink of extinction. It's very rare animal. Okay, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Ganesh Lakshman. Hello, sir. Yes, Ganesh. Sir, Okapi is a uh, uh, deer or uh, some species, sir? Okapi is uh, not a kind of deer. Mm -hmm. um, okay. They are kind of a bovid. Bovid is a group of uh, animal like bovidae is a family. So, deer is come under the family cervidae. It's cervid, but it's not a cervid, it's a bovid. Okay. It's kind of cattle. Oh, thank you, sir. Welcome. Hello, sir. Yes, what is that? How does uh, 
height uh, is the uh, tree shown in the presentation, sir. Your voice is not clear, Avanita. Uh, you can. Clear, uh... sir. So, how much height is the uh, tree shown in presentation, uh, presentation, sir? No, like still I can't hear you. You can uh, keep the lower your volume and ask, please. No. What is the height of the tree shown in the presentation, sir? The tree you are asking. It's almost uh, uh, 15 to 30 meters in height. It's very tall tree. Above tree. Sir. Next participant, please. Atkish Jori, yes. Sir, how old are uh, Bobo trees? Yes, yeah, nice question. Uh, in 2011, there was a tree which got died, and the tree's age was almost 2,400 years. So, boba trees live very long, like very, very, very long. So, now, like, there are lots of trees which has uh, was, uh, age almost more than 1,000 years. So, very uh, long living trees there. Thank you, sir. I think we can accommodate one more participant. May I open? Sir, I'm there, sir. Yes, sir, sir. Can I ask my question, sir? Yes, please, please ask. Sir, one minute. Sir, one minute. Sir, what are baboons poached for, sir? What are baboons poached for? Okay. Yeah. And they are uh, poached for their fur, for the meat. What they will do with their fur, sir? Fur, they'll make... Uh, fur, mostly they'll uh, use as... What to say? Uh, cloths, they'll do, no? Like leather kind of things. So, oh. fur or... Sir, uh, I have another question, sir. Can the baboons talk sign language? Baboons, uh, they don't have much uh, intelligence as the primates because they are... Uh, Intelligence is very somewhat less than the prime, uh, like the apes. So baboons usually they don't uh, communicate sign languages, but within the group, within the, their troop, they have uh, lots of vocalization. They'll uh, transfer their uh, uh, information from within the group, not with the youth. So sign languages are uh, not so developed in case of baboons with the humans. Sir, are baboons friendly? Um. Friendly in the sense, in the wild, they are like uh, mostly not friendly actually. They will they are seen in very huge groups, almost uh, 50 plus groups. And they are very aggressive also. So, they are not so friendly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor for the informative session on, on African, African Adventures, Adventures Part 1. Now, now let's, let's see today's assignment. assignment. The, topic the topic of today's, today's assignment, assignment is your, your fascination about, about African wildlife. wildlife. I repeat, your, your fascination, fascination about, about African, African wildlife. wildlife. Participants, Participants can, can submit, submit, your, your, submit your assignment in the, the form of creative art, or, or you can, can write, write a poem, poem story, or an article on this topic, topic your, your fascination about African wildlife. wildlife. And, and many, many of you have asked to, to repeat, repeat the contest topic of the day, it is going, going live. 
the contest, the contest of for the creative, creative writing, writing, writing contest for, for international day of biological diversity is ways, ways to conserve, conserve ecosystem. ecosystem i repeat, I repeat ways, ways to conserve, conserve ecosystem. ecosystem participants, participants can, can make, make a, can make a note for the other works and, and send, send it in form, form of PDF, PDF or scan file to ASFP zooschool at gmail.com. And, and we are happy, happy to see all our assignments that we that has been submitted for the past days. This is very, very nice, nice and, and keep going, kids. And, and all, all our assignments are being assessed, assessed by our panelists every day. We are, we are happy, happy to hear your feedback about, this, about program. this program. You can send, send your feedback, feedback in video, video, audio, audio or, or a written format to asfpzooschool.com and, and also you can post it in our social, social media. media. See, you See you tomorrow, tomorrow in the level 2 dating session on African, African adventures, adventures with, with Dr. Kalenji. Thank, Thank you all. See you tomorrow. tomorrow.